Alright peeps, welcome back to a brand new season of Timberborn. Now the last few times we've been Iron Teeth, so this time we're gonna be Folk Tales. Now map wise, although we do have a lot of unfinished business with Lemon Canyon, we're not going back there yet. We're going to the Valley of the Crimson Worm. Hard mode of course. Let's a go. Hmm, now what to call this settlement? Oh well, if I can't put my full complexion in, I guess I have no choice. Wormville will have to do. Let's go on. And pause. Pause straight away. Let's get a lay of the land here. Here be the Valley of the Crimson Worm. It's a valley split into two. If we take a look over to the left here, we've got the freshwater section of Gans doing plenty of damage to be had there. And if we take a look over to the right, this is where the Crimson Worm currently resides. Spewing these rusty bad water route from all of these different sources along here. And thanks to this narrow little slit of an exit here, if we leave this worm unchecked, it will slowly but surely swallow our beaver colony whole. Now, remember this. We can see the top of this on the left and we've got a full block and a half popping up there. We can even see the top of this scrap pile there. The old skyscrapers. This map here is a ticking time bomb because the bad water does not drain as fast as it accumulates. Left unchecked even further, it will contaminate the clean side of this valley here. And we can here be having that. And it's up to our brave, brave folktale beavers here to vanquish the crimson worm from this here valley. Well, I hope you like me attempted a little cinematic story driven intro there. Let's get into the gameplay by placing some path stone. And I can take a full cross on Oh, what a spy over here! I see some stairs! Oh, I see heaps of stairs. Let's get ready to plop these in. Want a path gun now out of there, and that can go up to there. Oh, I love it. Connect all the stairs. Oh, I spy more stairs. Get those connected in. That'll do for now. We'll go along here. We'll go along there. Oh, we've got some stairs run there back. Let's connect those bad lads up. Looking at this here, I think we're going to go ahead and delete these two stairs. By stairs, I, of course, mean path. Now let's get our initial buildings placed. First and foremost, water. Let's get a water pump. Where can I place a water pump along this river where I can utilize it? Because these edges here are not the best, to say the very least. It's barely got any water on it, which means they'll instantly dry up. We've got a spot here, so I can pop a water pumper there and a water pumper here. So we'll dig up these three berries, get them dug up, and I'll path that in. So that's our first building that needs to go in. Second building, I learned from last time, and we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna prioritize farming. In Wormville, we prioritize farming here. And let's get these crops planted. We are gonna be carrot beavers over here. All of the carrots for the time being. Now, I will change that up in the future, but for now, we're carroting it up. Before we actually plant all these carrots, let's get the rest of these paths in. Right, so that's the paths in. Let's get some lumberjack flags on. One, two, two will do for now. And then I want to plop some up here as well. There we go. And they should make quick work of this area. And I can get another farmhouse down, get some more plants cropped. Hey, <laughs> plants cropped. Before I forget, we'll get a teeth grindstone in for these laddies. That's that there. It's not worse than a beaver with a broken beak. Right. Storage. We're going to have to store the water when we extract it. For the sake of efficiency, I will... Let me place some more water pumpers down. So one... Two. So we've got two more water pumpers there, and then I want... See this path that's not getting used now? I'm going to delete that and get them planting some bloody carrots on there. We may as well use that for now. Over here, we have blueberries. So let's get the gatherer flags on the gun. One, two, three. I think that's a canny little storage area. Now all we need to do is assign the, the things that we want stored in it. Thank you very much to a few commenters letting me know about the old hold tab down and it lets you be able to select these a lot quicker than having to click into them like this every time, which is, you know, a lot of mouse movement when it's much easier just to go like this and just select what you want in there. I did recognize this screen when it came up and there's also a little toggle here. So if you're doing a lot, you can click this button, show storage overlay and it stays on there. So see here we want to have some logs, here we want to have some planks, here we want to get some berries stored up. This is where we want to store raw tatties, this is where we want to store baked tatties, and that's that whole area sorted, and we'll move our here. 
and we'll get crazy with it. Ah, low water storage. And then if you have clicked that button, tab doesn't turn it off. You have to click the button again. There we go. Or you can just hold tab. But yeah, thank you very much to the commenters. Let me know about that tab feature there. That is a huge time saver. The one more thing we need. I almost forgot. Sky incers. We need to get these sky incers to get them placed. I'm leaving a little gap in between here. Just so that the lumberjack flags that I have here can see through to those pines. Oh, speaking of, cut trees. We need this all cut. No tree is safe in Wormville. And the last thing before we press play, you want to get the priorities done. I want that maximum priority, that maximum priority, and at least two of those storage tanks. I'll also maximum prioritize those two lumberjack flags and these three berry pickers. Right, I think that's good. Let's up the number of builders and press play. Let's go. Go on, beavers. You gotta fight the worm. Come on, Equinus. Look here, just running about. You're almost an adult. You won't be a baby beaver for long. Unlike Vizumbi here. It's gonna be a baby for a while. Ah, oh, it's just a bloody baby beaver corner. Hey, what's it all about like? Hang on, let's give it a go. This is what it's like to be a baby beaver. What a life. All right, how are we cracking on here? Let's get the workplace priority. Oh, the workplace priority is up on these. Farmhouse. And we are desperately going to need inventors. And yeah, get those logs chopped with a quickness. Let's pause two of these. The reason I built three is so when the stock builds up on this one, I can pause it and then get the work out to go into there. So I essentially have 60 in berry resources, berry warehouses here for these three flags before we end up building the berry warehouse there. Warehouse. All right, we're building the water pump out. That shouldn't be too long. And then we'll finally get some water in this place. Oh, we're already starting to build the farmhouse as well. Wonderful. We're starting to build that. That means that this builder here, I assume. Come on, Jamadu. Get this water pump I built. There we go. Big clap clap. Well done, mate. And who's working here? Good old Idria. Get in there, mate. Pump it up. This is going to be what we need. We need all of that fresh water. Do we have a worker in here? No, but we should because it is food related. Do we have four builders still? Nope. I'm already starting to run out of jobs, lovely. So I popped this lumberjack flag here and I used the cut trees to essentially make it so they should cut this path first and these little few here. So what I'll do, I'll pause one of you while I have this one running and then that should give us four beaver builders there. Oh, 18 hour workday, don't clock off yet. We're an 18 hour colony here. Well, once you pick up those last couple of logs, I'm gonna place that path down. Oh, are you full? No? Alright, fair enough. I guess someone else was picking those logs up. <laughs> someone else had claimed those logs. As the day dawns on our second day here in Wormville, I'm contemplating where I'm going to dam up. And I'm going to have to start thinking about that soon. And looking at this water here, I'm going to have to unlock levees. Because the thing with dams, in a nice deep river like this, is you plop one down, so you plop it down there, I can not build on top of it. And that's a bit of an issue. What we're going to do is we're going to use levees. And I've had a look. The furthest we can get along here is this little ledge where the path is now, where I'm drawing. So this little ledge here is as far as we can get along. And we can't get down without stairs. So what I'm hoping, because I know it's either two or three, but I'm hoping beavers can build down three blocks. And I'm going to pop some levees down there and then a dam on top and dam up the river here. But to do that, we need 120 signs. We currently have zero. So we need to work on that. And I am very worried. We finally do have some workers in here. We can see them, look. They're planting the carrots. Get on there, Jumadoo. Plant those carrots. But berries-wise, we don't have many berries. And I really don't like these berries looking more poor Avenue Jack here in the face. Being like, look at me, you can't pick us. It's, it's rude, right? It's just simply rude. So I want to get over to these berries that are tauntons. And I think I have a plan. Let's see how that works out here. I'm going to go ahead and whip out some small warehouses at the cost of three logs a pop. I'm going to build them just along the floor here, as one does, you know, as one does. Just along here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to build them one too high, just for sure. <laughs> there we go. Now, if we simply pop a path on top, we've made ourselves a little bridge. Look at that. And we don't have to have planks or anything, which is what we need for stairs and platforms, well, and science as well. But we need planks for these, which is, I need power, I need a lumber mill, 
It's called a lumber mill, isn't it? Yeah, I need a lumber mill. Whereas now we can stack some boxes and that will give us access to this little area here. Now we can pop a couple of gather flags, three of those bad lads. And then we'll just casually put two lumberjack flags on, you know. Oh, what are you doing sitting doing? Get paused, get resumed. And then you, my friend, can go work next door and pick some berries. <laughs> ah, yes. Tis the way. Free storage. If you haven't noticed already, due to uh, measures I'm going to <laughs> to build things <laughs> and not die. So Lemon Canyon, I don't believe it's like marked as a hard map or anything. It can be challenging. As we all saw, you know, it can happen to the best of us. It can happen to the best of us. But this map is marked as challenging and hard and, you know, you know, you can play it in normal and have a, a you know, a hard experience. Now I'm playing it in hard, so. And not only do I have the filling valley here, which, you know what, let's check on, let's check on. I did say, do you remember where it was at? Oh, we've got, a, we've got this poking out here still. But we can't see the lip on the left. Aye. It's already filling up. Look, it's almost covering up the top of this scrap here. Almost. But yeah, the creator of this map uh, did indicate that it's quite difficult in the beginning slash mid game. So I'm busting out the big brain strats, I read. Cheese! Yeah. Hey. Oh, I see some more stairs over here. Let's get a little uh, a little bridge on the go, shall we? Here we go. We just need to chop a couple of trees and we'll be grand. And then we'll have access to this whole area here. To do what we with. To do what we with. <laughs> to do what we will with. How are we doing? Ah oh, yes, we've got some water storage. We're getting the food up. Are you almost full? Not quite, not quite. Are you empty yet? Not in the slightest. How are we builders doing? Two. We have two. Okay. Where are the other workers? Where are all, all the other workers? Oh, it's because it's three in here, isn't it? Ooh. Now, are you doing things? Yeah, all right. so you're all still planting carrots. That's fine, then. Continue planting. Ooh, what have we got here? Oh, it's a blockage. <laughs> I thought it was some sort of, like, I don't know, mangrove tree. No, I don't. I, I know that folk tales don't have mangroves, but no, it's just some blockage. <laughs> Some mouldy old blockage. Do you reckon it's worth doing this bridge first? Or this bridge first? Because there's more berries here, but is there that many more berries? Because that's a lot more, you know, luggage going on there. I did the maths, it's literally two more. So I'm going to do this one first. This is it. This is the first day that we could get a drought warning. Fingies crossed. Yay! We have at least one more day before we have a drought. Oh, you never know on hard mode. You get bloody cycle one, day three. Drought warning incoming. Well, I'm thankful at least we have this extra day. Oi. Wake up. You've got another day to do what you need to do, which is chopping trees. Right, let's get this path in a bit more. I want to start building a little housing estate here because the folk tales, unlike the iron teeth, breed by having spare rooms knocking about. So you kind of just chuck them all in a bloody pod and say, get at it. That's not how the folk tales operate. I do want to hurry up and get some more water. So. As you saw, I just panic made that uh, maximum priority. And I also want to store all of that water that we're going to pick up. So all of these are going to be maximum priority as well. How are we doing here? Are you full on storage yet? Not yet. Perfect. I feel like I should at least get one of these inventor huts going. And I really want to super high prioritize this, but I don't have the builders. Oh no, I've only got one builder. Have you planted everything yet? Not quite yet. Is it worth it? We're likely going to get a drought warning in the next two days. It takes four days for these to grow. You know what? I can pause you. That's one extra worker, one extra builder. I think I'm going to reduce the farmhouse down to one here so we can have a full stack of builders. And then hopefully we have a baby grow up soon and they can take up the slack. I've already had Equinus grow up. Oh, growing up to be a water pumper. Why are you? Slurp it up for the colony, mate. Slurp it up. Oh, we just lost a beaver builder. But we're getting another water pumper, so it's all right. It's all right. Oh, here we go again. Are we going to get a drought warning? No, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. A bonus day! Right, let's go beavers, we need to make the most of this day. Plant the last of the carrots that you've got. Yeah, get amongst it, mate. Get amongst it, because when these are ready to pull up, you're going to have to start pulling them up, mate. We have our beaver builders. What, what are you doing, doing now? There's the logs! There's the logs! I'm going to switch this back on. And look, if there's no logs, I may as well switch this on as well. And this on. There may as well literally just be one build if there's no logs. Because there's nothing for them to do. How is your storage looking? Not bad. Oh, you pick. Oh, I didn't, did I? 18%. Look, we're doing okay on water, so I'm not going to, like, tell them to dig that crop up, but... Yeah. Don't replant on that square, please. Oh, I tell you what, I... Shh. It's 
going to mark all this for growing some food for now. I adjusted the priorities in the work menu here for all these buildings. I thought I was doing this one, but I wasn't. I was doing the uh, the build priority, not the workplace priority. They were all max priority. I also give me a look at some of these adult beavers here. Six. That's a babby in it. Aye. Four. Thirteen. Alright, so we've still got some years left on the beavers. I'm just thinking about when to get these housing estates built. This little river blockade. Right, we are starting to get wood in. So I'm going to pause at least one of these water pumpers because we seem to be doing okay. Filling up the storage and everything. With the two of them for now. And that will give us two builders. And do I chop down? Do I pause this fella? Because look, day five. I think we're guaranteed a drought next, next day. So I'm pausing this farmhouse. I'm going to switch it to harvesting. And put the workplace back up to three. But basically when the drought comes, I'm going to just switch them. Switch it back on and hopefully harvest a lot of carrots. Speaking of, where are we? Right. Let's up the priority of that one. And the berries. Oh, get oh no, there's no berries. Oh, I'll get paused. I thought you were full, but you're not. So we'll let the berries grow in there. That's a full house of builders as well. Happy days. We even have the wood to come with it. Let's get this built. Are we starting to get any wood in here yet? Not yet. Here we go. The sun is setting. On what I think is going to be the last happy day here <laughs> in Wormville. I'm feeling pretty confident now that it's going to be a warning. Yep. Drought approaching. Right, now it's now it's really cooking. Now we are sizzling. So if we've got a drought incoming, I want to unpause this. Get the beaver in there. Actually, get in that one. Oh, I messed that up. I've done the pause the wrong way around. Sorry. See how the berries are growing at 100%. If they're not picked, they're not regrowing the berries. I'm not restarting this 12 day cycle. Ah, we just happen to have a beaver grow up as well. So I take it we're going to have a zoom in yet? Well, yeah, we are. You gotta go pick your berry, mate. I know you've just grown up. Oh, yeah, pick those berries. Ah, oh, yes, we have an inventor as well. Lovely. We finally will get some signs. <sighs> yep, let's get that water pumper on, the third water pumper. I know I'm losing out on builders here for now. But I just want to get as much water stored up as I possibly can in the next 2.7 days. How are carrots coming along? 77%. That means they should be spot on by the time this drought hits. Because there's nothing worse than like the, the water running out when it's at like 99%. Oh, we got some berry storage in. Lovely. That means I don't need to have two of these knocking about. What I'll do once he goes back there. I'll pause that job. Resume that one. And then they should just swap over to there. And then I'll just leave that paused. I won't delete it because it'll make it into rubble and then the builders will have to pick it up. And that's a job we don't want for them to have to do. Ah, lovely. They're building the carrot storage. So when these carrots are ready, they're going to get stored. Which means the farmhouse can be as efficient as possible at picking them up, essentially. What to build next? I think the inventor will come in handy, but I really, 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 really don't want to run out of food. So I'm building this bridge next. Let's see if we can get a mad little time lapse on the bridge build. Oh, we need to temporarily switch off the time lapse here. Hang on, ye, ye. We don't have workers staying out, mate. Get paused. That's because there's need trees to chop. That's fair enough. But you can get paused now if there's need trees to chop. We need you. We need you working as the builders. Uh, the carrots are coming in. That's what I saw in the background. Carrots are here. So let's resume. Take three jobs away from the builders. <laughs> but we're going to start raking up these carrots. Let's see if I can get a view... We don't have any wood left, so... What are you sitting there now for? Seriously? Oh, this is my fault. I always forget with the cutting trees. What a noob move. All right, there's no goods in there. Perfect. Delete. I'm replacing you with a lumberjack flag. And I guess let's sit here where we can watch the bridge getting built and the carrots get picked. Why is that water pump I stopped? Full on storage. Not a problem, mate. Get pumping in there. We're starting to get the carrots picked. We've got 51 of them in storage. Look at those carrots. Carrots and blueberries. What more could you want, you know? We're making fair dinkum progress on the bridge here as well. Oh, I was kind of hoping to use those pumpers before that happened, but what ifs? What ifs? And here we go. This is the first of hopefully many droughts. In the valley of the crimson worm. Uh, we got the water pump back going. Yeah, slope up anything you can if you need any storage or anything in the morning. Yeah. We got the three farmers ripping everything up. That is ideal. That's not ideal. You, you, oh, you don't get long to rip these up, do you? Time for a second farmhouse. <laughs> of course it won't. 
fit. You wouldn't mind building that with a quickness, please. I know you've got the logs in reserve, ready to go. Uh, speaking of four builders, um, pause you. You're sitting with full storage anyway, so pause you. You're sitting with basically full storage, so pause you. It looks like we need more lumberjack plugs, not really. How many workers do we have here now? Four, let's go. And we got three skines, says skines, so no way. And just in case you're wondering, the warehouses, the Divinay trap water behind them. It isn't a cheap cheesy dam, it's a cheap cheesy bridge. <laughs> All right, let's pause this water bumper. The straw is a dry, and we are on an absolute race against time here. Oh, I should, I should have not left that full priority. Just quickly, quickly build this. Please, we're going to be 24 hour work days until all these carrots are dead or picked up one of the two. Come on, build it, build it, build it. 24 hour work days, go, 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 go. Yep, get the bridge built. Here we go, the bridge is going to get built. Last one. Get in there, Subranos. You absolute leg end. Let's get the close up. Yes. Now we have a connection across. Now these won't die. Yeah, we only have a six day drought and their berries take 8.2 days to dry up. So we don't have to worry about picking these straight away. We can big chill. We can big chill. We just need to keep an eye on our food here. Because we are not growing any more food <laughs> in the next six days. Speaking of, speaking of, let us priority this bridge. I'm taking no chances here. This bridge getting priorityed up. I want that built so we can access these berries. And is there anywhere else berry-wise that I want to get to? Over here. Oh, there's even stairs. Ooh. All right, let's get this path in. Let's get this path in. I get way too excited for this stuff. Oh, a little double staircase, Dune. You know what that means? Double gatherer flag, Dune. Oh, how are we doing here? Dies in one days. That's it, lads. Pick up as many carrots as you can. You need to fill that warehouse and your little farm house. And I think, I think 230 water will do. I have been kind of fixated on food, like a lot. And any of you that have seen season two of my timberborn adventures know exactly why i'll leave it at that i need builders oh uh, pause 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 i don't need right 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 um i'll see you in the daytime welcome to the daytime now the first thing i'm going to do is just continue get interrupted by an auto save is just continue this path down to here <laughs> and i'm just going to connect that up i can't be waiting for that to grow because well it isn't and since we've went ahead and unlocked 120 science points I'm going to go ahead and use those on a levee. I would like to place it along here, but it's just a lot more wood. And considering we currently have zero, I'd rather not spend the extra. So I think here's the best. So if we pop a row of levees in there, there we go. A second row, and then for the third row, we'll pop a dam on. And then we need to get that built as well with a bit of priority. Just a high priority, not very high, you know. Very high priority. Three, six, nine, twelve... Is getting all of these built but ideally after those we'll see where the builders go oh now since we have leftover signs do i have enough for a forester not yet but hopefully i will by the end of the season here actually forester requires planks so we're gonna have to start looking at power let me just a real quick assign these i'm just assigning all of those so the the warnings don't flash different colors hopefully that's a bit less annoying for everybody come on beavers pick them up hmm i'm sitting here being like why am I not getting any more wood? I've got all the lumberjacks balls. Plus, I'm not going to get any wood. What a guy, eh? What a guy. May as well start chopping doing these. Actually, let me see if I can be... No. I was going to say, let me see if I can be clever and do the cut trees thing. But no, I'm just going to forget and never cut them. Are we building the houses? We are building the houses. I don't want the houses built just yet. Sorry for the false uh, lead there. I want this bridge built first. Oh, here's my carrots drying up. Get the last ones in that you can, beavers. Before the Algan slooped. Ah, he was doing anything? Yeah, you've got carrots to pick up up there. Because we only have one builder, you know. But while we have one builder, that gives us a chance to stock up the logs. Hopefully not enough so they haven't sit and Dean out. Come on, you got 0.2 days. Come pick it up. Oh, I'm still on 24-hour work day. Neither wonder. Sorry, beavers. Well, I'm going to pause at least this farmhouse. And 0. Point, well, at the end of this day. What is there enough? No, 24 work days. Sorry, beavers. Pick up as many carrots as you can. And I is all past too, but wake up when you can. Pick up the carrots. Well, he's just slept through the night anyway. Yeah, that's those paused. Now you saw builders. Get a building. Now we're getting the hooses in. They can stop being homeless. We're getting the last couple of warehouses in. I mean, bridge foundations in here. This one will be flying in. And then we'll have access to these berries over here now. Lovely, jubbly. 
Well, you're full, which means I'll pause you, get you in there. And I'm thinking I may as well get a, a berry picker in there. Start getting some food in. And you don't have anything else to pick any day? Nope. Pause you three. Now we have heaps of jobs. Well, we don't. We have exactly zero. I'd rather spend the science. We've got four sciences on the go. Up the priority of those lots. Oh, you've been sitting there wasting a job the whole time. Wow. I am terrible. I've been thinking about getting some planks on the gun in the next temperate season. So I'm just getting myself a little setup here. A little lumber mill. Just a quick one of them. Now oh, isn't that cute? Just need to be about to get there first. There we go. Now oh, isn't that cute? You got your little 50 horsepower wheel and your little 50 horsepower lumber mill. And they'll just crank out some planks. Hey, look at that. We got happy beavers. Half of them actually have a hoose now. Low standards, but if we keep it that way, they'll be happy forever. I've just upped the priority of the hooses and the dam here. Should I do the dam first? I should, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm doing the dam first. Get the dam built. The reason I say that is I can utilize a lot more of the space with the dam built. Like I can pop, I can pop a water pumper there, you know, I can pop water pumpers all along there now. It's because I'll be able to flood it up a lot further. Don't know why anyone's picking up these logs though. I guess I just haven't had them yet. Oh, we're starting to get the dam in. Let's go. Cool. You know what, I might do a little, a little time lapse. Because quite frankly, I don't think any amount of micromanaging at this point is going to change whether we survive the next 2.2 days. So I'm going to go control H and number three. Well, as King Othea comes and delivers the last log, wasn't the last log, damn it. <laughs> I'm going to say it's clearly this isn't going to get built in the next 1.2 days. So I'm going to switch the focus back over to the houses for now. Get those built. Just purely because when the temperate season comes around, we are going to be unpausing three, six, nine jobs. <laughs> and we currently need one more beaver. So we're going to need 10 more beavers when all this is said and done. Oh, a year. Well, what I might do just to switch it up in the next season, I might make this up up level here. I might make this all potatoes. Let's get those on the gun. Big potato farm up to there. There we go. Oh, and I do have the science now. Let's get the forester on the go because I want this area up here to be a forest. We'll put a forester there and now when we get to it. I might about have to put a third lumberjack flag here. Look, 18 out of 20 there, 18 out of 20 there. This is going to be full of storage. Alright, take that two logs with you, mate. You're probably a builder now anyway. Yep, you are. <laughs> Where's it going? Is it going the house or the dam? I'd say it's going to the dam by the looks of things. Aye, aye. Oh, the hooses are built. I was just about to say, why aren't you building the hooses? But uh, that'll be because they're already built. <sighs> so we have a bunch of spare beds here. So our beavers can stop repopulating or breeding. And one good thing about the droughts, as you can see down here, We've got that whole pillar spiking up and the little curb on the side. When there's knee bad water spewing, it does drain. <laughs> but that's uh, only going to be for the next 0.1 days until the drought ends. And the bad water and the good water come spewing back. There we are. Cycle 2, day 1. We made it through our first drought. We still have nigh on 100 water in absolutely heaps of bait. I think that is a bloody drought well done. I was uh, quite nervous about this this season. Like I said earlier, touched on, this is a difficult map, as the creator says. So I really had to give a lot of thought in uh, how not to die. And don't forget about the pressing matter, which is that bad water up there. It will flow, it will back up, and it will destroy our beaver colony here, if we let it. And you're going to have to find out if we let it in the next episode. Bye bye. It will slowly and it will surely but slowly. Although it doesn't matter, does it? I just pause that. Keep the builder. Although it does. No, because the reason I say it doesn't matter is when the drought hits, all of the growth and everything stops anyway. So it doesn't matter if I pick it now. Well, it's, it does. It's three days. Oh, yeah. This is how much of a legend I am. No safety saves. No safety saves. Unless you count those, but whatevs. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm too stressed on going. See yous.